Nah, I won't waste your time. I know this is what you came to see. Run it. Run it. Make it spin. Ha <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that out of the way right up front. Zoom. Mm. I can feel the air coming off those honey badgers. Oh yeah! We still got another gear left here. Let's see if I can get out of it. Mm, 33, 32. Alright, one more gear. There's two more gears. Come on, switch you. There we go. There's 37. Did I get all the way down? Nope, there's one more left. Come on. Oh, there it goes. It's in that last gear. Over, oh, 40. Oh, cut out. Oh, there it goes again. I have it set at 37, so I just want to... <laughs> yeah. Zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Luna Psycho. See ya, uh, BB. BBSO2, 750 watt, 1300 watt peak, with a 52 volt battery. Let's see if that picks up. There it is. Luna Dolphin, 11 and a half amp hour Panasonic. There's the dashboard. Nine speed. I like the vertical C965 display. Luna's got their branding on the display as well. Got your display controls, power on button. Throttle. Ooh, yeah. Hydraulic brakes. This is the uh, 2016 Diamondback. Overdrive Sport, 27 and a half inch. It's like a really dark blue. The light hits it, it's got some metal flake in it too. It's real nice, I like it. There's the front. Got your motor inhibitor there, it's magnetic. Come on, focus. There you go. Cuts the motor instantly. I don't have one on the back. I have a shift sensor hooked up instead on the connection that would have been the back. And there's no more connections to hook up a back up here. So the shift sensor is more important. Makes it shift real nice and smooth. I'm going to swap out. That's just the stock chain ring that they give you an option or uh, if I did another one I'd like to just not wish they had the option I don't want one of those crappy ones I'll just pay extra and get a good ring so anyway race face is going on there that's a 44 ring 44 tooth now steel and this plastic sucks and it's warped I tested it with it it works. Uh, I didn't have the chain fall off, but I imagine after you wear it for a while, you wear it down a bit, and it probably starts falling off. I don't know. There's lots of bad reviews on these stock rings, so I'm gonna do away with it, narrow wide. It's my 
chain stay guard. Bike doesn't come with one. I just threw one on there. Two finger hydraulic. I like that. The kit comes with these mechanical cutoffs. They're huge They're way out here, but that, that's to give you better leverage for the mechanical brakes. So here's a look at it. Here's my wiring down there. That uh, main lead going into the motors, way too long for this bike. I mean, if you put it on like a cargo bike, you know, it'd probably be perfect or something. You wouldn't need to chop it down. You know, I've seen some other guys wrap it, like wrap all the access around the tube there, the uh, down tube, the seat post tube. Yeah, I just I just chopped it all out. The system's married to this bike now. I didn't use any washers on there. I used spacers, quarter inch spacers. And it looks real nice. Like it doesn't bend your thing. It's perfectly straight. Locks, the the lockup's real nice this way instead of a bunch of washers stacked in there. If you have the 73 millimeter crank set. Uh, I also got the beauty ring on there even though it's 73 millimeter. So either they've updated it and added a couple more teeth on that on that uh you know a couple more threads they added it you know added a couple more threads there or something left a little bit more meat on there because it, it locked up good no problem with it speed sensor hundred eighty millimeter up front 160 in the back. It's a hard tail. Shocks have lockouts. They're nothing super special, but could do some, you know, medium light trail riding. Ride it on the street, lock it out. Maybe put some, get a set of street tires for it. And just hang up the mountain bike tires because probably only use them a couple times a year when we go camping. Whatever. Press the valves. I like the pedals the bike came with, too. There's Welgo, Trail, Dynavac logo, metal pedals. <clears throat> there, There is a hookup right there that, you know, I could have put the uh, shift sensor back here. I would have preferred to put it right there. But since this is a 20-inch frame, large... I got the 20 there. It just won't reach. Just just shy a little bit of wire there. They sell an extension, but they seem to be completely back ordered and out of stock on those. So if they ever come up, you know, if they ever be become back in stock, and just run it up here and hook up the rear. I have the sensor and I have the magnetic sensor and the magnet and everything to put on there. It doesn't really matter though. I think this is as long as you got one on the front, and it, it stops pretty quickly when you stop pedaling if you're in any of the pedal assist modes. And if you just didn't pedal assist zero, that's just throttle mode only, and you can mix pedaling in yourself. I do a lot of throttle, so it's it seems real safe. I've took it out for seven, almost eight miles. Felt real safe on it. <laughs> Felt real secure. Road real nice. Anyway, hope you like it. Come on, focus. There we go. I'm out.